guys welcome back to cooking with Tiska today I'm going to show you how to make me ayam jamur or noodles with chicken and mushroom topping me ayam jamur is not like everyday food you can find in your dining table it's more like street food you usually eat it when you go out with your friends or family or sometimes in Indonesia you can just waiting in front of your house and there is abang abang passing by with his trolley and selling bami anyway because here in Perth we don't have that so I guess we have to make it ourselves let's make it first thing first we're going to make the bread we have half chicken bone crushed garlic half onion Celery stick and two liter of water. We heat it up until it boils. Next, we're going to make chicken and mushroom topping. For that, we need chicken thigh or you can use chicken breast but I like to use chicken type more because it's more juicy we have straw mushroom, oyster sauce, sweet soya sauce, soy sauce and salt pepper for taste and we have 300 ml of water sorry guys I forgot to mention garlic and we chop finely cut the chicken into cube Last mushroom into half. Heat up the oil. Add garlic. the chicken When the chicken changed the color, now we can put our mushroom. Fill it together with the chicken. And we add the rest of our ingredients. Strip soy sauce. Oyster sauce and soy sauce. Mix it well. And we cook it until the sauce becomes thick. I think the sauce is getting thick now. Our chicken and mushroom is almost ready. Let's taste it first. Mm, I think still need more pepper. It's perfect now. 
This is optional, but I like to add uh, wonton skin for crunchy part and you can find this in Asian store and it's ready to fry Okay, let's fry the wonton skin We fried until golden brown color. We flip it. Okay, it's ready. Now it's for the important part is we're going to cook the noodle. For blanch the noodle, we will need like this uh, strainer like this uh, so for it to make easier to blanch but if you don't have it, you can also use the ordinary one uh, but you, you're going to need deeper and bigger pot to use this one and we need boil water, ice water, um, sesame oil and this one I for today I use this noodle like prepackaged uh, egg noodle. You can make it on your own if you want, but today I'm just gonna make easy as possible for me and for you guys. And don't forget the chai shim because we still need our greens. Usually this one they already put it in portion, so it's good. Take it at one. Just gonna put it separately. Blanch it for 30 seconds And we place it to ice water straight away uh, this is to keep our noodles still crunchy and nice texture. Add the noodles to serving bowl. Pour the same oil for flavor and for the noodle not stick together. If you don't like the same oil, you can use uh, oil, olive oil. And we add our topping that we made earlier. We blanch the choy seam for 5 seconds Add to the noodle Spring onion And top with wonton skin After it simmer for 30 minutes, let's check our broth. I'm gonna add pepper, sugar and salt for taste. It's ready. We put the bread to separate bowl and our mi ayam is ready. So today we make me ayam jamur. Let's eat. I want to try the soup first. Mm. There is two way to eat it in Indonesia. Some people like to eat dry or we call yamin. 
or you can uh, put a soup like me I really love with the soup so I'm gonna put a soup of course chili I can't eat without chili for this I use chili sambal for soup if you would like to know the recipe please check my a sort of sambal video Thank you guys for watching me today. If you like my Me I Am Jamur video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to more inspiration Indonesian home cooking. If you want to know the complete recipe and exact measurement, please uh, check the description below. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye!